Okay guys, we're back today with a quick update and farewell video of the 2003 Ford Focus Centennial. Now, if you guys have been with the channel for a while, you will know that I bought this car originally for myself. We've had it for about a year and a half now, and my sister's been driving it for about a year and five months. Basically what, what went on there was, that was around the time I bought my Ford Fusion. So if you guys can remember, um, her Saturn view, the transmission was basically going out on it. It was gonna be like three grand minimum to get replaced. So basically, I traded that view in on my Saturn or my um, Ford Fusion Sport, and we got a lot of money for that view because the dealer didn't necessarily know the trans was going bad on it. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I gave my sister this car. I do apologize for that guy right there. Um, but anyways, this was more or less a downgrade. I felt kind of bad for her um, giving this to her, but you're a high schooler, you really have no money, and you can't explain. And this car did just the job for. Her. It got her through high school, um, and it has really given us minimal problems. So that being said, what are the few things that we've done to the car? It's had new brakes put on it. Um, new motor mounts have been done to it, and I think some ball joints or sway bars at some point. Um, other than that, the car has been really good um, considering what I paid for it, and it's just, it needed a good cleanup when I bought it, and that's exactly what I did. These are actually the headlights from my um, 2002 Focus wagon, my second wagon. Um, so yeah, it's it's been through a little bit of hell, so it survived. So I can successfully say this will give the next owner trouble free trouble free ownership for at least a couple months. Um, it's gonna need a few things like it's gonna need some new suspension struts and all that if you really want to have a decent ride. Um, it's gonna need a serpentine belt. It does squeak when it's cold out. And it's starting to rattle a little bit. I want to say that's probably the heat shields rattling. I'm not really too invested in that though. So we'll get started with this one. She's acquired some dents throughout the year. I don't even know. It's, it's chipping some paint down here. It's just got miscellaneous dents from the previous owner. Rocker panels aren't the best, so I've always just painted them and kept them clean for what they are. Um, I put rain deflectors on them just because I always do that when I have cars. It's nice to have fresh air and not have wind blowing on your face. Um, this is a Centennial, so that was Ford's 100th anniversary edition, which gave you these special alloy wheels, um, the badging, of course, and the black paint, and the, it's real leather material, but I don't, it doesn't, it didn't exactly age too well. We'll get to that in a second. The paint is not in the best of shape. It needs a whole paint correction. I don't even think a paint correction would save this. This car is just, it's a cheap car at this point. Um, she got a dead battery back, back in the summer, and she tried to jump start it. She yeah it melted the headlight so i don't even want to ask um so yeah it's it's been banged up she sideswiped some oh i hit that with my buick i'm sorry um but other than that it's been a solid car if you do remember i made a uh, i put a um rocker panel cover from the earlier model focuses what's covered up the rocker panels it's a big piece of plastic i ran it through the car wash a few weeks ago and it just ripped it right off so I didn't even, I said screw it, I'm not going to even worry about it, cheaper car. And there was some rust always coming up here, so I always kept it, put through some 415 on it every few months. Um, just to keep it from really rotting out, and she didn't really exactly wash it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I if Now, if these wheels and tires, they're from my new wagon I bought. These were actually, these tires on this were, or on the wagon were actually better. So I took the Goodyear Vivas off this, because it had a thicker sidewall. I wanted a better ride for my highway driving, so... This car now has Mastercrafts in the back. The wheels, I'm not even gonna try to detail those. Um, it has a Kelly Edge up front, as you can remember from my last wagon video. Um, the car has new brakes on it, new motor mount, as I said, and the six spoke wheel. This is actually a polished wheel off an old one street edition wagon. Fire stone right here. We're just getting all types of shit today. Um, but yeah, then the Mastercraft back there. And again, it's just gonna need a full paint correction. I don't think that would save it. Um, but so we'll come to the interior and I'll make this kind of fast um, as I'm actually going to be dropping the car off right now to the new owners. Um, so the previous owner, if you, as you can all remember, actually cleaned up really well. I wiped everything down for the most part. The previous woman, she was easily 400 pounds and that's, I can testify that's probably why the struts are pretty bad on this as it is. Um, as you can see, that's like my foot moving this whole car. Um, she flat, she pancaked this seat. I mean, you can put a level on that shit. Um, but anyways, coming on in, otherwise the leather's not all ripped and all that. I took the all-weather floor mats out for myself. The new owners want to put some floor mats in it. They're 10 bucks. Um, but so, have at it. 
And as you can hear the little squeak, I want to say that's a serpentine belt or a pulley. It's not an expensive repair or it's necessary. It's just you want to hear a squeak every so often when it's cold out. Turn on the headlights, turn the fog lights on. I gave the interior just a quick wipe down. Um, does have heated mirrors. They actually do work surprisingly. They come on with that. So, um, and here are the lights. Those are sensors, which you can choose to replace if you want. Not all focuses even have these options, which is ABS and traction control. So I wouldn't replace those. The door latch right here, there's like a door latch that's funny in this car, which they're all shut. I mean, just take a quick visibility check. That's a, that's a sensor sticking and the seat belt, of course. Leather wrapped wheel, it's pretty clean. Like I said, I gave the car, I had the car detailed when I first bought it. It was just so gross. Um, it drives good mechanically and it seems to be sound. Um, and that's all I can really say for a thousand dollar car. Um, the air conditioning does work. You just need to charge it every month and a half or so. It does leak out slowly, but it does work. So that's pretty cool. I put the uh, radio from my wagon into this. So I swapped a few things over and we'll get to that in the next video. The heated seats do not work. I unplugged those because they just stay on and they just like melt and you can smell burning things under the seat. So I figured to avoid a car fire with a 16 year old, 18 year olds in the car. Um, we'll unplug those just to be safe. Power moonroof does work. That's a nice feature to have, especially when the air conditioning doesn't work on the days it runs out. Um, it also have all the maintenance um, schedules and all the books and all that stuff goes back in there. It was a well-documented car. It's just, unfortunately, it, it stood the uh, ownership of women. And I don't mean that in an offensive way, it's just predominantly women don't exactly take the best care of cars. So coming to the back, as you can see, the previous owner's woman, uh, her kids were back here. I gave it a good cleaning, of course, but there's still your various stainings and such. I have some salt packets from Burger King back there. Um, but uh, overall, like when I bought the car, this was, this was just caked full of grossness. And there's actually a video on the channel, I, I want to say. Um, there was wildlife living under here, so the detailers, my friend at the time, uh, detailed it for me at their detailing shop, and yeah, they did the best they could, and I, you know, I was like, whatever. Um, but yeah, the leather's not too, too bad. Well, the trunk, the struts are, uh, I want to say they're pretty much blown. There's no spring action when you pull it off. I don't know if that's how these are supposed to be, but um, threw the donut back in there. I did undercoat this because there was water getting in at some point so I just undercoated that I want to say or maybe that was to get rid of the musty smell I don't exactly remember well, I took the one centennial badge off I don't think it's going to hurt the next owner or they'll even care um, I hope the other one's on there's some dents I want to probably from high school parking lot and again the previous owner type things here my sister sideswiped the Ford Flex about a year ago um, and that's where this right here that's the only thing that this car got damaged to was that molding popped out. So that's pretty hilarious. It's gonna need an oil change in another thousand miles. Um, I think one of the fog lights is burned out. She was telling me, yeah, the fog light is one of them's burned out. Um, yeah, it's got new wipers on it. Under the hood, it's just a typical motor again. I had that detailed when I bought it, but um, I put the stock gearbox back on. Um, and yeah, I, I had new spark plugs put in it, new wires, and a new valve cover gas when I bought it. Hey guys, it's kind of like getting a surface belt down there, but other than that, I think it's going to be pretty good for the next owner. I hope it is, um, as it is somebody that my dad does work with. He's buying it for his son. So, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. So, as usual, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you all later.